Da 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 Doing some tests. I have a problem that uh, I, I made a membrane that uses two kinds of aluminium. So one I can cut here, put on the mylar and, and get it off. But the other one uh, I need to add later on. And I was looking for a method of doing that. I ordered some transfer paper. I used some, some of this kind of tape to pick up my design, spray glue, put spray glue on it and then dump it on the mylar. None of it actually worked. Mostly uh, the tape wouldn't let go or the tape is stuck. So I was looking for uh, a tape that is water soluble, which there is a version that like completely disappears. It's like 140 euros for a roll, which is a bit too much. But I remember for uh, uh, aquarelle, so watercolor uh, paintings, you got this tape with uh, celluloids, I guess on it like a huge roll for three euros um, the tape is just normal craft paper so it will uh, allow water to get in and the glue itself should release with water um, this is my gazillion attempt to make it as neat as possible first I put this material on the aluminium cut it weed it out then use this tape to apply it flip it around use 30 was no 3m77 on this and on the mylar but then this tape of course will stick to it quite heavily as well then I thought 3m30 enough is a bit more controllable cheaper and uh, does not contain acetone and such so I tried that but then of course you glue as well this tape to the piece of mylar which is also not very nice so fourth attempt Actually, it's like the eight or nine of them. I use different kinds of glue to do the same, like temporary bonded, water-soluble glue, but nothing worked. And I got high hopes for this one. I cut the design in the aluminium, which is harder to cut without anything on it. Like only a spray mist already makes it easier to cut. But in this case, I'll just cut at the aluminium, applied some water and alcohol in this case because I don't got years to wait. Put the tape on there which is then wet becomes sticky after a while when it's dried it should be attached to the aluminium so I use this fan to dry it a little bit faster. As I said I am uh, I don't have time so hopefully I can remove this could be stuck to the table promising so far so there's my design then I got a test panel with mylar suspended because that's the way I want to attach it in the end so this is the only way whoop, to, to test it uh, having a piece of mylar stretched on a table flat is easier to apply something to than a tension mylar so here's my design and we'll put it here just for a test. But first have to put some 30 NF on it. There's already some 30 NF on this, so I don't have to code that. The paper becomes a bit wobbly when using heat, so, you know, having patience might result in a neater result. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's the case. So, now I can attach this. Yeah, next time I won't be heating it. It was nicer looking unheated. So 
So, I added it there, then I grab a sponge. This is some uh, vinegar. Just dump some on. Bit too much maybe, but... This is the property I was looking for. This might take a few minutes, so... I'm gonna drink my coffee. It should not hurt the glue. Didn't test that yet. I don't think it hurts the glue, but we'll see. I'll leave it a little bit and then hopefully we can get this piece of paper off. That will be completely awesome. So I waited probably shorter than I should have done, but let's try anyways. So that works, there's only one thing I dislike. I'm not sure yet what that is. What's causing it at least. You can see what it is. There's some bumps and humps. And why is that? Let's remove this one as well. Because it's also soaked. So what's going on? Why are there why is there too much coral by the looks of it? There's some humps here. It didn't it higher there or that's weird. Is it hurting the glue? So it's not a complete fill, but it's also not a complete solution yet. So I'll go back to using normal adhesive, see if it gets any better. And maybe I should this might create the bubbles. I'm not sure what it is. Is it the paper shrinking? Then these bubbles are here already before I apply it. Or is it the this, this rubbing? Since this is flexible. Should try one here, see if that makes it any different. It is time. Let's remove the paper. Yeah, I see wrinkles. God damn it. What the fuck is that? Why is it wrinkly all the time? So it's on there, that's good. And I can clean off this last crap. Here, why are those thingies here? It doesn't seem to adhere now because there is water underneath it. Well, I'll, I'll try on this spot here where it is supported see if then I, if I don't have wrinkles here then it's purely because this is flexible and when you push the, uh, the coil into the mylar you stretch up the aluminium and when it comes back it doesn't come back to its original size and you create like humps and flumps but that should be visible that most of the wrinkles should be on the middle and less here well in this case that's true but spot I can use for another try. I'm gonna try it here. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna try it here and I use some 77 this time. Actually I should of course do the same as this one and see if it made a difference. If I change the glue, never change two things in one go. So I won't. I'll spray paint a little bit of this glue already here. Quite a bit. Leave it to dry, create another coil.
Then I'll grab some papers. I'll do it the other way around this time. So paper, one, two, magic paper. And then I'll um, that to dry I'll adjust the program to not cut it out in the end because that's not needed Put that in the background uh, I should have add some more weight so it cuts all the way through Plop. It's a question for me how long this should, you know, should it be completely dry or is it, can I cut it right now? It feels kind of not slippery anymore. Try and cut it. See. Uh, I got two. So if, if it fills, I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> Two in one go, that's a miracle. Now I'll grab some of those painter's tape. And I'll try to pick one up. No excessive wobbly wobblies. So one, I wanted to use this cheap as spray glue and attach it to the foil on the support side. So I'll just... This side of the cutting table I screwed up already with a lot of glue <laughs> stuff. So this doesn't really matter. OK. 
Okay, so that's very sticky. I think I'll try it. So, support at Mylar, see if that's any better. I think this might be the reason why it wrinkles. We only know when we try. So now this, this process is kind of weird because now I have to remove this tape from the paper backing of the other tape. <laughs> it's like a double transfer thingy. And this tape does stick very well to the mylar by the looks of it. So it takes away a little bit of the paper. It's fine, I can live with that because it has to go anyway. Also left a little bit of the tape itself. That's not so nice. Okay, now do the test with uh, getting rid of the paper. Leave this to soak a little bit, drink some coffee, and be right back. Ooh, it's all spongy. Did I wait too long? No. And there you have it, without wrinkles. It's amazing. So yes, it is the flexibility of the foil that's screwing it up. This looks perfectly fine. I'll show you. Yippee-ki-yay, battery is empty, so... Um, See you later.